Tell her, baby, I love it. You're my inspiration. You're my motivation. You're the reason that I move it with no hesitation. They say this is a big, rich town. Yeah. I just come from the poorest part. Bright like city life. I gotta make it. This is where it goes down. Hey everybody, I know that power didn't come on this week, but I decided to just sit down and talk about the characters and where they are so far in this season. So let's just start off with Ghost. Now in this season, you guys, he is all over the place. We are used to seeing Ghost being on point ahead of everyone just in this leadership role, but clearly there has been a power shift. Milan seems like he is the one that has the most power. Now, Kanan, he's kind of powerful in his own way, but Milan is more on point. He's more on Jamie's level. So it's weird to see him not exactly on top of his game. He's trying to be way too many people. Okay, he's trying to be Ghost and Jamie and James. He's just too many people. He needs to choose one and be one. He can't leave the street life alone because he's too enveloped in it. It keeps trickling down into everything in his life. He can't get away from it. As far as his relationships, like with Angie, there's so much distrust there. And he's not able to really tell her everything that's going on so his relationships are getting damaged because he's not giving information he's trying to handle everything on his own you know he's very narcissistic in his own way and selfish so he thinks he can just do it all himself and take care of everything but he is getting hit left and right Milan is throwing him off <laughs> Tariq acting up in school in life really is throwing him off Lobo still being alive and Ruiz possibly snitching is throwing him off. He's just everywhere. So I think the only thing that's going to bring him all the way back together is really choosing who he's going to be. Are you going to be Ghost, the one that has the drugs and also a legit uh, business going on? Or are you going to be Jamie? Are you going to be the businessman that leaves all the street life alone? That means you do everything by the books. You don't be putting on your murder hoodie uh, outfit and going to handle business. You leave all of that alone. Like he's going to have to choose one or the other because he cannot continue to play both parts. Now, Tasha this season has actually stepped up a lot. Um, I have seen a lot of growth in her character this season. When we first were introduced to her, she seemed like a materialistic, dope boy wife. Um, you know, she's worried about clothes and her hair and going shopping, but also being a partner to her husband. When he needed things taken care of, she made sure it got took care of. Uh, she was handling the money, making sure it was clean. She was burning um, bloody clothes for ghosts. I mean, you know, she was a good mother. She'd always been a good mother. Um, we got to see the dynamics of her and her mom and how her mother discouraged her and kept her from her dreams. And she, you know, didn't want to do that with her own kids. And, and by the way, speaking of kids, when was the last time we seen baby girl? They're not showing their daughters that much this season, are they? It's more Tariq centered, huh? She's coming into her own. She's learning to live her life without ghost. Um, she's learning who she is, what she likes, what she don't like. You know, just kind of, she's turning into a single mother. And that's kind of what it is. When you've been with someone for so long, especially if you're married and you get a divorce, you have to learn these things, how to live on your own. And she's really just learning how to do that. And I like the fact that her and Tommy... Um, got together and they were laundering money together because that's her element. I'm sorry. It just is. She's the type of woman who will always want to be in the game in some capacity, even if it's just laundering money. She needs to have that thrill, I guess. And it gives her something outside of ghosts to do with her time. I don't like the way things have went down between her and Keisha because, you know, they're best friends and... I really didn't want to see them fall out, you know, if Keisha is even alive, at, you know, at this point. But um, I hope they are able to work it out if she survives this season. Keisha survives this season. 
But I really like um, that they're showing why her and Ghost, Tasha and Ghost, are married. Because she's the perfect fit for him as Ghost. You know, she's going to have his back. She's going to make sure he doesn't get caught. She's a good partner to him. Um, I think that the love is there between them. But from Jamie's side, I think he loves Tasha. But I don't think he respects her too much. But I think because she is so down with him, he takes it for granted. Or he took it for granted. And now that he's dealing with the things that he's dealing with with Angela, I think he can compare and contrast how these two women will ride for him. Now, Angela stepped up in the end, but, you know, Tasha been down since the beginning. So we'll see how everything unfolds. Do y'all want Ghost and Tasha to get back together? I don't know. Um, it's just a thought. I, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like if they do get back together, Tasha need to make him work for it. But I just don't, I don't see that. I see him trying to get back with Angela if they survive whatever this thing is that they're going through. Um, I wonder if she going to tell him about Greg. I doubt it. I really do. Tommy this season has stepped up a lot. Um, I didn't know where we was going with him at first because Holly was still around and she was encouraging him to do dumb stuff. And he was having to deal with her and deal with ghosts being gone and deal with trying to take over this business and, you know, just learning how to be the leading man. He was learning how to do that um, at the beginning of the season. And we saw that he was doing a pretty good job. Um, of course, Tommy is going to do things a very Canaan-ish way because he's just that hot head quick tempered dude but we did get to see him grow as a businessman he was paying attention when he was rolling with ghosts okay he did learn a few things um but what i don't like is the way that milan is potentially manipulating him i don't know see here's the thing it's hard to tell if tommy really knows what milan is doing and he's just playing along or is it that he's falling for Milan's tricks. See, I don't know where it's going because you can never tell with Tommy. I hate that he has gotten beat down so much in this season, like literally and emotionally. Killing Holly has taken an emotional toll on him. Milan and his goons done beat him up. That's taken another hit on him. Um, I think he's really just trying to find his way right now. He feels lost and alone, which is understandable because he has suffered a great amount of loss in a short period of time. You know, he thought he lost Ghost and he lost Holly and Tasha and the kids. It's just so much. But I think he is definitely stepping up. I am interested in seeing how this is going to play out. Is he going to be on Milan's side or is he still going to ride with Ghost? I don't know. I'm glad that he wasn't able to kill Ghost. So we'll see how that plays out. Angela this season, she been going through it. <laughs> She's been dealing with the new relationship with Jamie, um, getting questioned at work, Greg coming back into the picture. She's just been all over the place. And plus her heart has been broken. So I'm just curious what she's going to do, what her plan is. Sleeping with Greg was obviously a mistake because... That did not work. Her career is on the line. Her relationship, she thinks, is over to a certain, you know, extent. And I'm just curious to see which way she's going to go with this, how she's going to play it. Because, you know what? At the beginning of this series, Angela came off as a very smart woman. I mean, which she is, but it was played up a little more. She made some pretty good decisions even though she didn't always play by the book, she would get the job done. And that's what has made her so successful in her work life. So I'm anxious to see if she's going to be able to do that once again. The only thing that I never did like about Angela was that she would try to use her sex appeal with men to get things done. 
when she really didn't need to even do that because she's smart enough to do it on her own. So I wonder how this is going to play out at work um, because they are trying to pin all of this Lobo stuff on her. So I really want her to, you know, use her brain. I know she's trying to get everybody to get their story straight so they all can just walk away from it safely. But I wonder if there are other factors going on in her head that's going to keep her from being able to do it efficiently again. I don't know. Uh, what do y'all think? Do you think Angela is going to pull it together and do whatever it is that she needs to do to get out from under this situation? I don't know. I'm worried about him. Kanan needs to die. I don't think he's going to die this season, but he definitely needs to die next season. Or something horrible needs to take him. No, he needs to die. Mm -mm. He needs to die. Because as long as he's alive, he's always going to be a threat to Ghost and his family and his livelihood. I'm curious to see if they're going to bring Jukebox back into play. Like, I know they didn't just bring her in to just heal Kanan up and send him on his merry little way. Because, see, she's law enforcement. So I feel like somehow she's going to have something to do with Angela and all of that. And in, in some capacity, she's going to mess something up. By the end of this season, let me think, I don't want to see anybody die other than Kanan, Milan. Who else can die and I won't be mad? Um, I really don't want Keisha to die, but I'm not going to be heartbroken if she is. Dre, I want him to live only if he's on ghost side. If he's with Kanan, I don't care if he lives or dies. Dre is doing the most. I don't even trust him at this point. Yeah, he may be playing both sides of the fence because he don't know which man is going to win in the end and he's really worried about him and his daughter. But at the same time, come on. Like, really? Would you even choose Kanan? Even if he did come out on top? Why would you want to even be on his side? Because he's going to kill you. He killed his own son for not choosing him. So what you think he going to do to you? Really, Dre? So that was my little mini rundown of a few of the characters on the show so far. I'm anxious to see how this season's going to end. I hope they don't do this huge cliffhanger and make it seem like Ghost is about to die or Tommy or somebody is about to die. Just listen, stars, please, just end it clean. We've been through enough this season. Just watching Tommy and Ghost not get along, that has been enough for me this season. Thank you. So I will see you guys in the next video. I'm very anxious to see how this is going to play out. Ooh, it's going to be good, y'all. That's all I know. Please leave me some comments below. Tell me what you think is going to happen in these last two episodes. What you think of the character so far. Just let me know. I read all the comments and I love it when people interact with me and let me know what they think. Some of y'all have some good ideas that I don't even be thinking about. So, yeah, just let me know what's up. And I will see you guys later, okay? Bye. Bright light, city light, I gotta make it. This is where I go, so.